What's going on, Risco Gang? Coming at y'all boys another banger. And today, yes, we have played Madden 25. Yes, I have played it early. So we're gonna be talking about graphics, gameplay, everything in the book, everything I've seen so far. How do I feel about the game so far with everything I've played? Let's go hop into it. Now, really quick, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe for us doing those three things. Helps your boy out a lot. We'll be covering Madden 25 and even college football right here on this channel when they do drop. So make sure you guys are tapped in and have that noty bell on. Now let's go get straight into the video. We're not wasting no time today. So yes, we have played Madden 25 early. There's basically a beta going out right now. A lot of people are kind of getting their hands on it. A couple people still don't have their codes. I currently do not have any codes to give out to y'all, but I might have some soon. So if you guys do need a code, let me know in the comments below. I might be able to get you one. But like I said, right now, currently, I do not have any more code. The base is going to have two sessions. So the first session was going to be from yesterday all the way to next Tuesday. So basically, this entire weekend, you can play the bit if you do have it. And there's going to be another session, I want to say, at the end of June. I think it's like the 28th through uh, July 2nd. So there's going to be two sessions for the beta. So if you, like I said, if you don't have a code yet, you still have time. There's still going to be two sessions to, you know, play Madden 25 early. Like I said, I'm going to be talking about my first impressions and how I overall feel about the game, what I like, what I don't. And like I said, just really gameplay, you know, graphics, all that type of stuff. I'm not going to be talking about really superstar stuff in this video. I will have a separate video going over the superstar stuff, all the details, all the, you know, stuff I've seen about it, the build system, everything. I'll talk about all that in a separate video. This video is, like I said, just graphics, presentation, gameplay. Cause I know a lot of boys want to know those three main things, how the game looks, how the game feels, things that they thought so I can't show any gameplay. So if you guys are wondering, um, you know, why I'm not showing gameplay, why I'm not showing, you know, me playing the game, I literally cannot show y'all or there, or, or, you know, EA is going to take care of me. If I show gameplay on the video, EA is going to get me up out of here. So no, I cannot show gameplay, but like I said, I kind of can talk about, you know, how I feel about it. All right, well, that might get straight into it. So also let me know in the comments below, if you've played the band, let me know how y'all feel about it down below y'all first impressions things of that nature so boom let's get straight into it so first things first we gotta talk about we're gonna talk about graphics how does the game graphically look how does it look overall and i'm not gonna lie it's actually stepped up i don't know how ea did it they had to do some type of magic or something because somehow the game looks better than how it did last year like there's a bunch of like motion blur if you guys have played call of duty you know what motion blur is yes that's basically in this game i would assume it's also gonna be in college football that's why college football looks really really good but madden will also have motion blur you can turn it off if you don't want to have it but bro i'm telling you right now it's it looks it makes the game look so good the motion blur is a huge w for it um just the overall like how the game looks overall just looks a lot better the lighting's a lot better um players look a lot better the player builds look a lot better and just overall like i said graphically it looks really really good like it looks really good a lot of the cut scenes a lot of the animations like i said everything just looks really really good if you obviously have to see it for yourself i really can't you know explain it too much but just know when y'all get your hands on this game you will be able to tell it's a it's a step up graphically and next i want to go and talk about presentation so yes Presentation stepped up heavily in this game. And I mean, they basically overhauled basically all of the like, like uh, presentation things that go on with this game. Things like the scoreboard. Yes, the scoreboard is new and it's absolutely perfect. It's perfection. It's literally at the bottom of the screen and it like, it kind of covers the whole bottoms. It's not really big at all. It's like, it's just like a, think of like a, um, think of like NBA, think of like NBA 2K. It's like a long ticker at the bottom of the screen and it looks really, really good. It looks clean. It, it's basically ESPN. Think of the ESPN kind of like scoreboard style thing. That's what it is. It's at the bottom of the screen. And like I said, I love it. We're already going to get that in college football. But honestly, I like the Madden one even better. I think the Madden one looks even more cleaner. More, it looks more even like real life. The ESPN uh, scoreboard, it looks so clean. It looks really, really good. I love what they did with it. And it's, like I said, really perfect. They really can't get any better than the scoreboard that they have in this bed. They really can't get any better. Um, overall, like I said, presentation, a lot more cutscenes, a lot more pregame stuff, a lot more... Just a lot more stuff before the game even starts. You could obviously skip it. A lot of people do skip it. But once again, I know a lot of people want their presentation to be better before the game starts, after the game. Um, even like during touchdowns, like they show, you know, like the little like animation when like someone scores. That that even looks more realistic. It shows the it shows like an image of the player on the screen. It looks really, really good. Like I said, it just looks like real life. It looks overall better. And like I said, it's, just, it's definitely a step up from 24. 
Um, the commentators, there's obviously three commentating crews now, not just one, it's three. In the beta, you can't hear all three, but you basically are able to change them before the game starts. So if you wanna change your commentating team before the game, you can do that. If you want Brandon Garden, if you want um, Greg Olson, things of that nature, you're gonna choose before the game. And that's already gonna be a big, big step in the right direction with commentators. That's something that we needed stepped up in this game. Um, also, crowd, the crowd is definitely way more alive. The crowd is insane, it's loud. It kind of bugs out a little bit in the beta, but they already said they're known of that issue. They already know that that's an issue. Um, kind of, it's like, like I said, it's like a glitch going on where like the crowd gets silent sometimes, they get a little, a little bit low, but you can definitely tell it's supposed to be loud. The crowd is insanely loud when, you know, when it's actually working, they're like roaring. It's, it's really, really loud, I'm not gonna lie. Um, the, the, also, the grass looks really, really good. Like the turf, the 3D turf that they're adding, that's gonna be in college football. It's also in this game. And like I said, the turf looks really, really good. You can kind of tell, like looks really detailed. So now that we got graphics and presentation out the way, let's go and hop into that gameplay, boy. I know I wanna hear about gameplay, so yes, Movement in this game. Let's talk about movement first with the gameplay. The movement is about the same as 24. It's not like a big difference. The big difference you will see is when you get to college football. When you get when you get when you go to college football, the game speed and the movement is going to be a lot faster in that game. But with Madden 24 into Madden 25, the movement and the game speed is about the same. It feels a little bit smoother overall, just because once again the, the game feels graphically better and it feels a lot smoother. But in terms of like the game speed and how like players move, it's about the same as 24. I would. Say say also player um i mean not not player uh ball carrier moves so ball carrier moves have been changed heavily so like i said movement about the same but ball carrier moves definitely have been changed Jurdle is basically gone. It's, I think it's supposed to be in the game but in the beta you cannot do a jurdle at all so we'll see when the game releases but the jurdle basically gone it's, it's completely taken out the game next thing the juke the powerful juke that was in match 24 gone basically you know you can't you know do a juke and like uh you know steer you can't you can't basically steer that juke when you do that that main juke that everybody was doing you can't break like 17 people's ankles no it's not that powerful no more it's not that crazy it doesn't like break a bunch of people's ankles no the juke has been nerfed heavily now what i will say is though you can like chain these moves together so if you want to chain together um like a double juke or like a juke and a spin you could chain these moves together a lot more you also break a lot more tackles if you're like trying to juke or you know you're trying to like spin or whatever the case is, you kind of like get touched. You kind of like break tackles a little bit more because they have changed it with the new boom tech, how, you know, players tackle and how, you know, physics are with the game. So there's a lot more broken tackles with juking and spinning. But like I said, in terms of breaking someone's ankles and, you know, them being super OP, that's just not the case anymore. I would say the spin is honestly the best skill move in the game. The spin is, uh, is definitely way better than the juke. But once again, Juke is still there, you know, this, and there's also a lot more juke animations. It's not just the same juke um, that everybody, you know, does. Everybody's not gonna do the same juke. Depending on who you have, depending on which player you're using, the juke is gonna be a lot different and just how you time it, how you time it, uh, whether you're sprinting, whether whether you're not sprinting. The juke, there's a lot more different juke. Yes, the barcade moves have been nerfed, but overall, once again, I don't really mind that just because I'm more of a left stick guy anyway. I don't really love to use the right stick anyway. That's the other thing we're going to talk about is going to be passing. So passing in Madden 25 is about the same as it was in Madden 24 when it comes to freeform. When it comes to like the freeform passing, um, you know, trying to place the ball where you want to, all that type of stuff is about the same. But the big difference is going to be the hot routes. So yes, there's different hot routes. Kind of like how it is in college football where you don't need Hot Route Master at all to put somebody on the post, a corner route, things of that nature, that will be also in this game. You don't need the Hot Route Master quarterback, you don't need the Hot Route Master ability to put somebody on the corner route, a post route, things of that nature. So that's a huge, huge W. Um, there's a lot more variety with the routes also. Then, on top of that, there also is Custom Stems, so which is also in college football, that will be coming to Madden 25. Custom Stems is basically where you could put like a, a corner route that breaks at 10 yards, five yards, you can really customize your route breaks when you're, you know, like I said, doing hot routes and things of that nature. So, you know, custom stem, big, big W. I'm glad that they're bringing it from college football because it's going to be something that changes the game when you're, like I said, just making plays and doing your hot routes and just overall adjusting on offense. Now, next up, staying on the offensive side of things, let's talk about blocking. So, overall, I would say the pass blocking is really, really good in terms of, like, the how good they pass block, in terms of, you know, the pocket presence and how the pocket really forms. 
really, really good. Also, kind of going back to, you know, quarterbacks and throwing, the scrambling in the game is really good. Like, it, it feels even better than Madden 24. That was probably, like, the biggest difference movement-wise is when you're using a quarterback, when you're scrambling with a quarterback, you're pretty fast. I'm not going to lie. I was in, like, Derek Carr, and I was, like, running past and, you know, maneuvering in the pocket pretty good. So, in terms of, like, scrambling, like I said, pocket presence, how you maneuver in the pocket, it's really, really good. The pass blocking, really good also. Now, when it comes to run blocking, what I've actually noticed is the run blocking isn't that great in terms of like the old line the old line doesn't doesn't pick up blocks that great obviously that can change you know depending on your old line things of that nature but from what i've noticed the old the old line when they're run blocking is pretty mid it's not the best on um, the wide receivers though they block really good when they get when you get to the outside when you get to that second level the wide receivers are blocking really really good but the old line themselves they don't really pick up their blocks that well. I've been seeing, you know, times where, you know, they might miss a block on the inside zone or something like that. But once again, second level blocking the wide receivers and things of that nature, they block really, really good. Um, so like I said, overall, the old line of the game, pass blocking, really good. But run blocking, eh, I'm not really liking it that much so far in the beta. Let's get to the defensive side thing. So the defensive line in the game, honestly, once again, pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie, the old line blocks them pretty well. In terms of picking up blitzes, really really good also kind of going back to o-line you can like basically see where your o-line is picking up who so you can like when you slide protection when you do all this pass protection in the game you could definitely see who is picking up who and it looks really good honestly it looks really good in the game it, it, it lets you know a lot more about where your o-line is going and who they're going to pick up so overall when you go to the defensive side of things it's very hard to kind of like blitz in the game because once again if someone kind of knows and they know how to pick up your blitz and they know just how to slide and just overall do pass protection they can pick up your blitz and, you know, be able to block your, you know, D-line pretty good in the game. So, overall, I'm definitely going to say the D-line, they don't shed as much, just tear down your old line and, you know, just go through the A-gap the entire game. No, that's not a big thing in this game. The old line is really, really good. So, D-line is it, honestly pretty mid, honestly, right now. They don't they don't really do too much, and you don't get a bunch of pressure unless you just don't know what you're doing on offense. Next up, we're talking about is going to be zone and man. So, overall, um, the zone and man in the game, it's pretty good. Like, I'm not going to say it's like OP. Um, I would definitely say zone is better than man right now from what I've seen. Um, I would definitely say zone is better than man. But overall, it's it's pretty good. I'm not going to lie. It's not like mid. It's it's pretty good. That's all. That's, that's kind of the best way to say it. They play their zones pretty well. Also, switch stick is in this game. So if you guys don't know, college football is going to have switch stick, which is basically a mechanic where you can like switch and flick to like a certain player on the field whenever you really need to. So if someone, it has to be further. It has to be a pass play also. When they, when they do a pass play, you can kind of like flip the right stick in whichever direction to go to a certain player. So if you want to go from your middle linebacker to your safety with a flick of a, you know, you're just going up on the right stick, you can basically do that. So yes, you can basically control any player on your defense by just flicking to their, you know, direction. So yes, you can go to the cornerback, you can go to the, to the safety, you can go to the top right safety. You can basically click onto any player on the field by just flicking the right stick. So yes, that's going to be a game-changing feature, and that's just going to overall make zones and man, you can do it in both zone and man. It's going to make overall both of those really, really good. Just make defense a lot better in this game. Also, keep in mind, the switch stick is very hard to get used to, so you have to really practice it and learn it. It's going to be a big skill gap in this game. It's getting used to it and getting good at that switch stick, but when you do learn it, it's going to, you know, transform your entire defense. Let's go and talk about tackling, boys. So, yes, tackling did get heavily changed in this game, and I mean heavily changed. With the new Boom Tech system, which changes like tackling, physics, you know, the hit stick, all that type of stuff, it is definitely changing this game. There's a lot more broken tackles, I will say that. There's a lot more, you know, different type of style of tackles and different type of animations. This is how the tackles kind of like, like happen on the field. It's a lot more physics based, I will say. It's a lot more physics based. And honestly, I like it, honestly. It looks a lot more cleaner. It looks a lot more smoother. The overall tackling just makes a lot more sense, if that makes sense. It, it just makes sense. It looks really good on the field. And like I said, all the animations tie together really well because they're more animation. I mean, not animation. They're more physics-based. So, it makes, like I said, it looks a lot better and it makes more sense. It looks really good. The tackling is really good. The hit stick, I would say, is not as good as 24. Um, you're not like, you know knocking dudes out every single play you know you have to really time it i will say that it's a lot more time based it's a lot more skill based it will even tell you if you hit stick too early if you hit stick too late it will literally tell you so you have to really time it this year um the, the um kind of like the cut stick where you like go down the right stick that's a lot better this year you, you know you kind of like cover a lot more ground and it looks a lot more better in this game and, and also the animation is a lot better also when you actually do the cut stick and now the last thing i do want to talk about when it comes to defense is going to be interceptions this is something that 
from from what i play i don't really like in this game because the interceptions i'm not gonna lie they drop a lot they still drop a lot of interceptions they still you know kind of like swap the ball this is something that like i said i don't like in the beta right now if i had to say something that i don't like is definitely the interception rate too many people are dropping picks too many people are just swatting the ball that's something that you know we've seen in Madden 24 that is like i said kind of like here in Madden 25 and that's like i said the one thing i don't like so far in the beta the biggest thing i don't like is the interception rate there should be a lot more interceptions if someone's throwing at your face they should catch it a lot more 100 there's been plays where i threw directly at somebody and they just dropped the ball like literally just, they just drop it directly at them hits their hand and they just drop it or like i said they just swat it I do not like that. I, I think there should be a lot more interceptions, a lot more, you know, catch interceptions 100% in this game. So when it comes to interceptions, that's the one thing, my biggest thing right now that I don't like in the beta is that. That's it for the video, boys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more bangers just like this one. Until next time, peace.